Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about proteins. Proteins are vital for our gut health. It helps uh, bacteria flourish and produces hormones which are for our good sleep, for our physical and emotional being. All proteins are made of building blocks which are called amino acids. And there are total 20 different amino acids. And they are divided in essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. The non-essential amino acids are those who uh, our body can produce by itself and essential amino acids, which uh, we get from the food that we eat. Animal proteins uh, contains all nine essential amino acids, which we can find in poultry, in uh, fish, meat, eggs, and dairy products. In plants, there are less amino acids, so those who are vegetarian or vegan, they need to eat uh, more diverse food in order to get all the amino acids in, uh, from the food to their body, essential amino acids. So um, this food, which contains amino acids from the plants, are pulses, like uh, lentils, beans, uh, green beans, cereals, grains, oats, nuts, seeds, soya, and others also. And uh, curon, which is uh, made of edible fungus, as, uh, they use it as a meat substitute. Proteins in your gut uh, helps, uh, contains nitrogen, and which helps uh, bacteria flourish, flourish, and uh, also helps to digest um, uh, fiber and produces short chain fatty acids like butyrate, which helps with the gut lining. Also, when you eat proteins containing amino acids named tryptophan, your gut bacteria loves it and converts it into happiness for a hormone, a serotonin, which in turn converts it into sleeping hormone, melatonin. So which food contains tryptophan? Tryptophan rich food is poultry, eggs, dairy, meat, beans, rice, oats, hummus, pineapple, salmon, nuts and seeds. So average person needs uh, about uh, 45 to 56 grams of protein daily. To give you an idea, uh, one egg contains seven grams of protein and one piece of meat um, uh, like uh, one palm of your hand on a pack of uh, cards, it contains 20 grams of proteins. But be careful if you are eating more proteins than you need on a daily basis, your body converts it into carbs and store it as a fat, unless you burn it uh, immediately afterwards with an exercise. So try to eat organic meat uh, because uh, processed meat and red meat um, like salami, bacon, sausages and hamburgers are linked to colon cancer. So organic meat is also rich in omega-3 and uh, stress-relieving B vitamins and also iron and zinc. So avoiding meat altogether may um, lead to anemia. Some studies suggest uh, when eating meat to eat a lot of fiber, which protects uh, from the harmful effects from the red meat, like uh, fresh, minced and frozen uh, beef, lamb, pork and veal, and should be eaten in moderation. So meat is more harder to digest, uh, so we need to chew more in order to produce more enzymes which helps to break down the meat in your gut and convert it into amino acids. And it keeps you full a longer period. So that's all about proteins. If you have any more additional questions or comments, please comment and uh, write below. And um, today I want to give you the, my favorite and the best recipe for a um, good start of the day. Uh, which is very soothing for the gut and it's uh, full with antioxidants and it's very brain boosting 
and it keeps your sugar level during the day stable. So send me a message and write your email and I will send your recipe directly in your inbox. In my next video, I will be talking about gluten. So why uh, gluten is all of a sudden uh, so much famous and why more and more people are intolerant on a daily basis, are getting intolerant. So what's happening with the gluten? So I will explain about gluten in my next video. So stay tuned. See you. Bye bye.